Lowtech was the first company ever to introduce GPS collars and our mission has been to remain leaders and provide technology that goes beyond what conventional GPS has to offer. In addition to GPS, we have released activity sensors and activity data analysis software, virtual fencing, video camera collars, and today we are pleased to launch proximity sensors for interaction studies. Hi, I'm Christy and we're here to demonstrate Lowtech's new product for wildlife tracking. This new system allows the researcher to study when their animals are within each other's proximity. I'm holding what we would call a master collar. It's a GPS collar enabled with a proximity sensor and this one also has a video camera. My colleagues, Juana and Jason, are holding sub-transmitter collars, which can be heard and recorded by the master when in proximity. Let's see how this works. We are in a large field to demonstrate the communication between the master and sub-callers and explain how this system will benefit your interaction studies. The master caller has been programmed to acquire a GPS location every five minutes. Examples of interaction studies that benefit from this system are the detection of presence and absence, mother-fawn relationships, and fawn survival rates. We will first see subcaller 1 come into proximity. The sub ID is recorded only when it's in proximity of the master. And the GPS schedule will remain the same. The Google Earth image on the right side of the screen shows the path of the master in red and subcaller 1 in white. At the bottom of the screen, the proximity records show the date, time, ID, and signal strength of each transmission from the sub to the master. You will notice that the transmissions are every 8 seconds. The next event will be subcaller 2 coming into proximity of the master. This is different than the first event in that not only will the ID be recorded, but the GPS schedule will also change. In the Google Earth image on the right side of the screen, subcaller 2 is represented by the black line. In this event, the GPS schedule of the master changes from fixed locations every 5 minutes to fixed locations every 90 seconds. This data can be viewed on our website. Examples of interaction studies benefiting from this type of system would be predator-prey, disease transmission, and competition for same food resources. The next events are subcallers 1 and 2 leaving proximity of the master. Sub 1's last transmission is at 10, 20, 34. Then sub 2 leaves proximity as the last transmission is recorded at 10, 57, 25. When sub 2 leaves proximity, the GPS schedule of the master reverts back to a fix every 5 minutes, one hour after the last transmission is recorded. For more information on the benefits of using low-tech proximity sensors for your interaction studies, contact us by phone, email, or visit our website.